Good morning and welcome to morning prayer in the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher. I'm Reverend Anne and I will be leading you this morning. Uh, Diane Scott, our lay reader, will be leading you in the responses. So I do invite you to join with Diane if you have the words in the responses. Otherwise, do allow the words to just flow into your hearts and to transform your relationship today with God. We will be using our Red Daily Prayer book, but we're changing today. Today we move across to Morning Prayer on Tuesday, and that can be found on page 137. Uh, we'll also be using the Psalm, Psalm 5, but I will tell you where that is later. And if you have the Daily Prayer app on your phone or on your computer, you can use that to follow the service. You can also use the Church of England daily prayer on their website. So I invite you to pause for a moment, still your hearts as we prepare to worship God today. So beginning on page 137, O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. And we will use all the canticles and psalms antiphonally. I will say the odd verses. Diane will say the even verses. Please do join with Diane. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins. And heals all your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit. And crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things. So that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his. You mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we turn to Psalm 5, which can be found on page 652. The refrain for this morning's psalm is, You, O oh Lord, will bless the righteous. You, O oh Lord, will bless the righteous. Give ears to my words, O oh Lord. Consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God. For to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. 
no evil can dwell with you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre. And they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out. For they have rebelled against you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. And with your favour, you will defend them as with a shield. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Lord, protect us from the deceit of flattering tongues and lying lips. Give us words of life which speak your truth and bless your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. And so we come to our first reading from Holy Scripture this morning. Diane will read for us from the prophet Hosea, chapter 10. Israel is a luxuriant vine that yields its fruit. The more his fruit has increased, the more altars he built. As his country improved, he improved his pillars. Their heart is false. Now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and destroy their pillars. For now they will say, we have no king, for we do not fear the Lord. And a king, what could he do for us? They utter mere words. With empty oaths they make covenants. So litigation springs up like poisonous weeds in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria tremble for the calf of beth -Avon. Its people shall mourn for it, and its idolatrous priests shall wail over it, over its glory that has departed from it. The thing itself shall be carried to Assyria as tribute to the great king. Ephraim shall be put to shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his idol. Samaria's king shall perish like a splinter on the face of the waters. The high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. Thorn and thistle shall grow up on their altars. They shall say to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall on us. Since the days of Gibeah, you have sinned, O Israel. There they have continued. Shall not war overtake them in Gibeah? I will come against the wayward people to punish them, and nations shall be gathered against them 
when they are punished for their double iniquity. Ephraim was a trained heifer that loved to thresh, and I spared her fair neck. But I will make Ephraim break the ground. Judah must plough. Jacob must harrow for himself. Sow for yourselves righteousness. Reap steadfast love. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. You have ploughed wickedness, you have reaped injustice, you have eaten the fruit of lies. Because you have trusted in your power and in the multitude of your warriors, therefore the tumult of war shall rise against your people and all your fortresses shall be destroyed. As Shalman destroyed Beth Arbel on the day of battle, when mothers were dashed in pieces with their children. Thus it shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great wickedness. At dawn, the king of Israel shall be utterly cut off. And so we turn to page 139 for our canticle. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob. That God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations, and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. So people of Jacob, come. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways that we may walk in the paths of peace. And so we come to our second reading this morning from Holy Scripture. This morning coming from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic prayers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, 
they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part. Then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide. These three and the greatest of these is love. And so let's pause for a moment and ponder the words that we have heard from Holy Scripture this morning. Let those words dwell in our hearts. And so we turn to our responsory on page 140. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments. That I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Come now to the Benedictus, our Gospel Canticle. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. And to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. We come now to our time of intercessory prayer. Let us by prayer and intercession with thanksgiving make our requests to God. Gracious God, we pray for peace, justice, and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights. 
and for the relief of the oppressed. We give you thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for Alan, Bishop of St Albans, Richard, Bishop of Bedford, Michael, Bishop of Hartford, and for the life of this parish, the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher. We give you thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of the sacraments, and the fellowship of your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this local community and for all people in their daily life and work. We pray for the young and the elderly, for families and all who are alone. We give thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your loveliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in need, for the sick, those on our parish list that we've been asked to pray for, Audrey, Viren and Mark, Maureen, Pete, Ian and Jenny, Diane, Grace, Jan and Jeff, Michael, Isla and her family, John and Gibson, Colin, Iris, and Buki, and all those known to us individually. We pray for those who are in need, for the sorrowful and bereaved. And in our parish, we've been asked to pray for Crystal Cowdery, Brian Turner, Margaret Woolley, Peter Wakelin and Eva O'Brien. We pray for all who bring comfort and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Eternal God and Father, you create and redeem us by the power of your love. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everyone. It's been good to join with you for morning prayer. We gather again to pray this morning at 11.30 when we pray together. Hope to see you later.